So hello guys, my name is Sola and I'm back with another Minecraft video guys. So today I want to be teaching you the build wall program. But how does the build wall program work? Let's show you. The tool that goes up a block and places block. Now it's going four blocks to the left and places blocks wall goes to the left. Now it's going four blocks to the right and places blocks wall goes to the right. Now it's going left again. Wow, this is an amazing program, isn't it? In survival, your hands could get really sore, but the problem is you want to make this massive wall. And you just can't because your hands are just too sore. Well, the Toto will do it all for you. You can make the Great Wall of China number two. You can make Donald Trump proud by making a huge wall. <laughs> There will be a link down in the description on how to download the code. Please like and subscribe. And let's get straight into it. To do the build wall program, you need to extend Hill Force. So that's why I made a big statue of Hill right here. So let's show you the code. This makes a variable called total, which we initially set as zero. Double hyphen count inventory returns the total number of items in the inventory. Function count inventory, local total equals zero. The total is now set as the amount of blocks the total has. First law equal 116 do. Total equal total plus total dot get item count. End, return total, end. The total is selecting the block to build with and places it below the total. The code will do nothing if the total has no blocks at all. Double hyphen select and place down selects a non-empty slot and places a block from it under the total. For slot equal 116 do. If total.getItemCount slot is greater than zero, then total.select slot and total.place down return. End. End and end. The total would let you know if the total does not have enough blocks, it will not work. Double hyphen build wall creates a wall stretching in front of the total. Function build wall length height. If hill dot count inventory is smaller than length times height, it will return false. Not enough blocks. And oh, and this keeps track of the total's current height and length. Total dot up. Local moving forward equals true. The total is already at the opposite end of the wall, and it only has to move one more block. For current height equal one, height do. For current length equal one, length do. Select and place down. Place the block. If moving forward and current length is less than length, then total dot forward. Else this, not moving forward, and current length is less than length, then total dot back. And, and the total can change directions. If current height is less than height, then total dot up. And moving forward is not equal to moving forward, and the total moves one space. Double hyphen done building wall. Move to end position. If moving forward, then double hyphen total is near the start position. For current length equal one, length two. Total dot forward. End. Whether the total was moving forward or backwards in the last move, the total will always be at the top of starting position. Else. Total is near the end position, total dot forward, end. The total moves one block. Double height and move down to the ground. For current height equal one, height do, total dot down, end. Return true, end. This is all that you have to change for you. Not much of typing and a lot of possibilities. So let's do the build wall program. This low tail. Our load API hill. This stores values for length and height. 
The length and height values can still change, but the program will still work. Double hyphen handle command line arguments. Local clearance equal dot dot dot. Local length equal two number clearance one. Local height equal two number clearance two. If you do not type build wall length height, an error will appear. The length and height are numbers. If length equal nil or height equal nil, a clearance dot one equal question mark. Then print usage build wall length height. Return end. It checks if you have enough blocks. Print building. If here the build wall length height equal false, then error. Not enough blocks. End. Print done. And that's about it for the build wall program. So thanks for watching my video. I hope you learned something. And bye bye.